Um, it has been kind of a trip trying to like get myself in like StarCraft mode today. Neuro was telling me at BlizzCon, he's like, dude, you gotta have a day where you don't like drain your brain out by working or whatever, and then try to play StarCraft. Like you need to have um, at least one day that is like pure, right? In the in the sense of like his samurai stream kind of thing. Um, and I'm like, yeah, 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 Neuro, whatever. I, I'm fine. I gotta say, after now having done it, right? Like I took his advice and I did one day of like, where I could really like focus all of my energies and just playing well. And when I compare how I felt on Saturday to how I felt right now trying to play good StarCraft, it is a huge difference. <laughs> Highly recommend, uh, if you can, carving out time for yourself to like, really get that dedicated practice in like that. Cause it's been a huge difference for me. I'm not gonna like never play on a weekday we over it or anything like that, but oh, shoot, that was not that was not it. But okay, uh, sure. Anyway, you get it. Do two laps around, then we're gonna do the world tour of the spaces. This is gonna go here. And not good luck. I GG that last opponent, right? Hope I didn't BM. Nice, love it. It's a hatch. It's a hatchery, dude. It's actually a hatchery, dude. Gas is taken. The gas looks like just gas hatch. Yeah, I think it is. Need more minerals for that. Oh, that's a slow warping. That's not good. I don't love that. No, get in the actual, <laughs> actually like enter the thing and uh... Not enough death. And then we said we're gonna try to do this. And try to be brave and wall properly. Okay, so there is a base, so we like that. So make another adept. The firstborn shall persevere. She should actually stay home. I wanna tighten that up for my next game. She should stay home and immediately shade. This is actually good because it creates a sense of urgency for me to make this gateway. All right, like finish the wallet. Oh no, I can't do that yet because I gotta make this thing. And then, oh shoot, no, 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 dude. Okay, we're gonna have her chill out for a second while I stabilize. This makes an adept, this makes a gateway. Go inside here. Okay, now we're gonna check saturation. Uh, that looks like enough. I think it's like nine. So I messed up my opening, but I'm throwing a lot of new stuff at myself here. I also didn't have this hotkey. Um, this is actually good. Hey, it's okay. It's good to see you. Um, this is usually uh, indicative of like, I'm, I'm going to eventually have this improved. Like when it's a little bit sloppy, but I was able to add in the new thing that I'm working on. So that's where we're liking what's happening here. Out for a walk. Okay. Yeah, right on, dude. Okay, so we want to, if we can, hide some of this tech, uh, like, downstairs? And I should make this over here because I don't know that this isn't that elevator link meme that I died to before. Glory to the day uh, where is my that thing? Yeah. Great, so we go adept, adept, adept. Opponent hasn't scouted the seven adept yet, I don't think. This goes here, builds a big wall. Uh, 
I should have had another warp in here, but I'm not actually going to get one because I played a bit sloppy. We'll shade in here and just kill the swing. Uh, opponent has nothing. This is actually a very strong open now. I got so much. Actually ridiculous. I'm just gonna go now. Oh my gates finished now. Glory to the day The first war shall persevere. Glory to the day law. I didn't check for tech. There it is. Okay, there's the spire. Oops. Where is it? I don't need to fight in that concave. Pick it up! Fight! All of you fight, please. The firstborn shall persevere. Oh wow, you can hit it from there? Oh crap. The range, dude. Glory to the day. No, pull back. The firstborn shall persevere. Nothing left in that mineral cluster. I do need a few safety stalkers here, I think. The firstborn shall persevere. We don't have enough metal. Glory to the day. I knew it. I knew it was coming. Got him! Oh my gosh, probably take a third in positions like this as you push. Yeah, I think, uh, 
I think when I took the tech, I should have gotten the third. GG. Just watching Harsa vid, he mentioned it in disc. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very contentious topic, right? Um, <clears throat> so uh, a lot of people come by and they're like, yeah, you should just take a third like before you push. And I'm like, well, yeah, but then you don't have as many adepts and you don't kill them. Um, however, I think what Adam Moore is saying is exactly right for the position in this game where it's like, uh, okay, we kill the third, right? Kill the third, an opponent is stubbornly not dying at their nap. And I was stubbornly insisting on them dying. Uh, at this point, I think it probably makes sense instead of fighting into spines and queens and God knows what, right? You just like sit back and you go, okay. Um, like I, I'm going to put an adept here. I'm going to put an adept here. Oh, okay. Literally right now is when I realized that this base was here. Uh, let's go back and look at the replay. Um, but I, my point was like contain, right? But apparently I need to have better map awareness. <laughs> Whoops. Um, hey, Grizzly, good to see you. Hey, Tiguan. I can't, I might have said hi to one of you twice. I don't know. Scatterbrain today. <laughs> it was a long work day. Okay, so a drone got past me here then to make this. When did that happen? Oh, okay. It was before I moved up. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, I don't know. The spine snipe, like, while while it was good that it worked, I, I don't think it was good play. Does that make sense? Like, I think what you're saying is actually better. Um, <clears throat> But this is a really interesting topic, and, and I'm actually, like, really glad you brought it up because I do think that it's a nuance I need to add to my play that I have not added yet. Um, And all my opponents always do this, so, like, even the the base level version of it where it's like my very first idea is I'm going to send a probe and take a third today and uh, I'm going to not have it work because they all do this, right? <laughs> um, okay. Okay. So the next time they get the, in this entrenched position, right? We got to we gotta do that. Did they ever try to retake the spire after? And also, why the heck would you take it there of all places, right? Where else am I going other than your natural after killing that third home? Like, what? They never do. I guess because I'm leaning into them so hard. Hmm. Spire was two thirds done at the end, really? Was it made right in front of me? The stuff that chat's aware of that I'm not is really something. Oh my gosh. I guess you saw it on the production tab, maybe? Where is this alleged spire? Uh, I'm not seeing it. It's probably a panic build. Are you sure, Adam Morris? Because I'm not seeing it. No, yeah, you're tripping. Okay, so where they made, when they, they did make a spire, but it was next to the natural and I clicked it down. What I was wondering is, did they remake it? Yeah. No worries, no worries. Something I've been working on myself. It's hard when you're so laser focused on going for the kill. It's a matter of finesse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grizzly's got it. Have you been, by the way, Grizzly? Seemed like you were uh, like doing a good job of managing mindset stuff on Twitter. I can't remember if I actually like replied to your thread or if I just read it. I might have like. I do that a lot because I, I always like check Twitter like right before bed and right after bed. So, like just what's my StarCraft news for the day or whatever. And uh, I have sleepy brain, of course, at both of those times. So like I sometimes like have a thought that I just can't actually type out. <laughs> Been way better than you were a couple weeks ago. That's great. Yeah, so so this was this spire is the I see that your composition doesn't hit up at all, really, other than these Ghostbusters beams. Um, yeah, I just don't know why you'd make it there. It's, yeah, it's probably a panic thing, I guess. How many did I get in the early game Adeptress? It felt like the world. It felt like I could have just, like, never attacked again after getting that economic damage. Ooh, that's a, 
We should actually have people guess. That's fun. Adam Morris with the strats today. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the adepts come in. The ladies are coming in. Oh god, an opponent pulls towards me. Ugh. That that ain't what you want. Oh, oh, oh. Like nine is a good day for like it's it's it has ended, right? Uh but it is not over. I don't know that I should have fought that roach there. It might have been better to just like walk past it. Because I think I lose like an extra adapt doing that. Uh see, I thought I was getting drones there, but I was just tapping the queen for a little bit of damage. Or yeah, because this drone got away and said this one bummer. Okay, so I needed to target fire there. That's sloppy on my part. I didn't notice the queen, I just noticed the drones. Mm. Did I not get as much as I think I did here? Yeah, wow, okay. I guess what I did get was opponent bleeding a lot of attention where I kind of like actually macroed. Well, no, they're macroing better than me, huh? But I do get to this uh, this money before it gets like too out of control, I think. Yeah, I'm building the gateways right now. Today I made a Protoss Criteria of Kala. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't like the long game in PvC. Really. I, I like the semi-long game in PvT, but I never really like the carrier stage of the game, like at all ever. It's just not my thing. <laughs> 